Shalom Yoni. Shalom Jerry. So we're talking about uh, the GA taking place this coming week. A few uh, words about the significance of this event. Annually, Jewish federations and frankly the Jewish world comes together to discuss, debate, think about Jewish issues, Jewish challenges, and Jewish opportunities together. Uh, we listen to leaders of uh, our country, uh, leaders from Israel and across, frankly, the world, uh, to really try to understand where we are as a Jewish people and where we're going. Uh, the GA has been in existence for over 50 years, and uh, it's, it's really a seminal moment in the calendar each year. How would you uh, compare uh, previous conferences to uh, this year's event? So the previous conferences uh, that I have been to uh, uh, have uh, all been in the States. This is my first GA uh, in Jerusalem. And I have to tell you, it's a, an exciting, a very special feeling uh, to host the GA in Yerushalayim. Uh, so many people from all over the world Australia, from Europe, uh, from South, um, South Africa, and from obviously North America um, to Israel. And we have taken this year's GA very, very seriously um, in that we look to discuss the two futures. The, the future of the diaspora relationship with the state of Israel, and also to really discuss what's happening with North American Jewry today, especially based on uh, the new information that we receive from the Pew Report. So this is a very, very special GA in that it's being hosted um, in Jerusalem, in Yerushalayim. So you're mentioning that this is taking place in Jerusalem. What do you feel is the uh, extra added value when uh, the GA takes place in Israel? So Jerusalem is the capital of the Jewish people to be hosting the conference here and having Israelis uh, come uh, in mass uh, to have this debate and dialogue together is something very special to have Israel leadership, to have the prime minister, to have the president, to have great ministers and new members of Knesset in dialogue with leaders from the diaspora here in Yerushalayim takes on a whole new meeting to be able to go around and see Jerusalem and in, in have our constituency visit various places of learning to create and have dialogue around thought leadership and around the issues is very critical. To have young people having dialogue together is really important and finishing off the GA and ending the GA celebrating in Safra Square and then the GA group walking as one to the Kotel is an amazing statement that you could do no other place in the world. So let me ask you, what is the role of a Jewish diaspora these days? Some people may say, hey, you want to influence? Come, make Eliyah, immigrate to Israel, join us in the state of Israel. So I believe that the diaspora plays a very, very critical role in its relationship with Israel and in, in its relationship to the world. The fact is, is that almost half of Jews uh, in the world live in the United States. The new study comes out and says that 6.8 million Jews live in the United States out of a total Jewish population of 14 million. That 6.8 million can have incredible influence uh, influence uh, in debate, influence in opinion in our countries across the world, influence uh, in our connections, influence in our relationship of our countries, um, you know, to the Jewish world. But more important, um, it's important to have a sustainable, strong connection to the state of Israel in the diaspora. It's important for us to have a strong vibrant Jewish community that connects to Israel so that we have that relationship to Israel so that when Israel needs us we can be there on a moment's notice and at the same time on an everyday basis that we have an ongoing beautiful relationship with our greater family. Jerry Silverman thank you very much for joining us. Thank you Yoni and I hope you join us at the GA and I hope for 
really uh, the concept of the Jewish federations is all about the concept of chesed uh, chinuch and klal Yisrael. And being here in Israel, it truly is a, a wonderful feeling to be here.